There are predictions tonight one of our closest neighbours, Indonesia, is on the cusp of a full-blown coronavirus disaster. The country has the world's highest death rate, but is testing the least amount of people, and it's feared half the nation will soon be infected. In Sulawesi, social distancing doesn't exist. Jakarta, people still pile into public transport. Bali, thousands defying a ban to celebrate a religious festival, even after a Frenchman died from COVID-19 on a public street. And as a family mourns the loss of British mother of four, Kimberly Finlayson. The heart of my family has been ripped out. For weeks, politicians said Indonesia was virus-free due to prayer, when in fact they didn't have proper testing kits. Even now, fewer than 3,000 people out of 267 million have been screened, equivalent to just 160 people in Australia, and resulting in a whopping death rate of more than 9%. While that rate is expected to drop as testing increases, modelling suggests infections will skyrocket from just 790 confirmed people to half the population, with no stringent lockdowns in place and a health system unlikely to cope, medicos wearing raincoats. I lost my wife without knowing what was going on. That level of care is, is lacking, as is the level of community. Aussie is still in Bali, say the mood is calm, but business is struggling. At this stage, we have no bookings until July. Renee Henry, Nine News.